Asim, before taking, giving it to you, the sure, baton, sure. I just wanted to ask one question. Sure, to no, no, please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Anup, I just wanted to ask you, I was just curious again now seeing this film. I just wanted to ask you one thing because um, Irfan always wanted a daughter. Yes. So, you know, to have a film where he had to kind of have this insane craving, uh, like for generations craving of a, of a son, uh, did he ever uh, kind of mention it to you? Did he find it difficult to portray the role is what I was curious about. Suddenly it struck me today while watching the film. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, uh, it, it was very difficult, I think, you know. And initially, as you probably know, he didn't want to do it at all. You know, he said, uh, this is a very dark, dark film for me, and I have to live with it for, you know, uh, God knows how many months. Yeah. And uh, I'm probably not uh, ready at this moment to live this kind of darkness. Mm -hmm. And I think much later, and this was really years later, uh, we were discussing another project, and uh, I'd asked him, in this particular project to play a woman, you know. And uh, that is the time, actually, he spoke to me about uh, uh, always wanting a daughter, you know. And he said one of the reasons why he found Kissa so difficult was uh, this uh, uh, really love and hate uh, relationship that he had with the daughters in the film. One more question, Asim. I'm no, sorry. Please go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, one more question is, uh, Anup, when I was watching the film, I just uh, wanted to ask you if you had any discussions with Irfan while, because you had to make a patriarchal wanting a daughter man, but it doesn't look uh, that inhuman, you know, like in mainstream, we see the patriarchy these days and it's so very different from how you have kind of translated patriarchy because it's not looking like one person. It is looking like a civilization in that one man, you know. It's like a journey of pat patriarchy which is subconsciously has come to us, you know. So uh, while uh, when you were wanting this man who loved his wife, but yet wanted a son. So, so much of uh, layering and so much of contradiction in the character itself, you know. So, did you have kind of, uh, I'm just being greedy, I guess, you know. I just want to know, did you have any kind of discussion with Irfan, which kind of, uh, they like, did he ask you, how should I portray this negative man? <laughs> <laughs> That was uh, one of our initial uh, discussions. You know, when he was saying to me, Shutpa, that uh, he would rather not do this particular film because it was so dark. I don't know if you remember because you were there. Yes. You might not have been in the conversation, but I think you no, were no, very I much... No, I knew that, that he didn't want to yeah. do it. He was very yes. disturbed by it, yes. Very, yes, very disturbed. Yeah. yeah. But uh, very quickly, I think, um, almost in a couple of days, I called him again. And I said, uh, Irfan, I probably, I, I think that perhaps you've read the role a little differently from the way I wanted you to read it. Could I come and speak to you? So he said, yes, come, you know. And this is when you were still living in, on uh, Mud Island. Yeah. So, so uh, oh, sorry, sorry, I did come there. Huh. Hmm. I did come there. And uh, I said to him, uh, you know, there is a, a singer that you and I love very much. Mm. And uh, that is uh, Nusrat Ali Fateh Khan Saab. I said, when uh, Nusrat Saab sings, you see his face distorting. You see his, you know, sometimes his face becoming really monstrous mm. in the, with the intensity that he wants to sing. Mm. You know? I said, however, the voice that comes out of him is, for all of us, one of the most sublime voices that we've ever heard. I said, this role is a bit like that, that it might seem on the, on, on the outside, you know, that it is a horrific role. It is a, it is a frightening role. But inside is a human being who is also fighting his own battles, you know. And somewhere in that battle, 
there's also a gentleness, there's also a tenderness. I think uh, Irfan understood that immediately and two minutes later he said, yes, I'll do the film. Yeah, but he kept saying later on, he tricked me, he tricked me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, yeah. th those are, actually, that was the first question I was going to ask because I knew Anoop has a story about uh, bringing in Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan. Hello, uh, Anoop and uh, uh, Rasika. Sorry, you're not feeling well, missing you. Um, so I'm also curious about Anoop. I mean, this may have been probably the only time that Irfan completely transformed himself physically also. I mean, to, you know, to become a Sikh, to, I mean, it was actually so lovely. I've seen the film uh, quite a few times now, but to hear Punjabi being spoken and both he and Tilotama are not Punjabi and they had to learn the language. Um, was there any reluctance of that, or as an actor, it was such a challenge for him that he was he was willing to take on that? I mean, you you made him into a completely different person than what he had been in so many other films. I, I think there was a joy, uh, in fact, uh, in in uh, taking on the challenge of the language. You have to keep one thing about Irfan in mind: that um, dialogue to him worked in a very different way, or perhaps with this film, something started uh, with us. And uh, from a very earlier time, from in fact, the very first dialogue that he started speaking in Punjabi, he actually started singing the dialogues, you know, instead of speaking them. And uh, in many ways that made Punjabi a little easier for him to grasp because he got the inner sounds of it. But I think more than that, uh, by singing the dialogue, he found certain uh, nuances, certain emotional uh, possibilities, which uh, he might not have found if he had just spoken the dialogue, you know, taken them by heart and just spoken them out. He never did that. He again and again tried to find a melody for each and every piece of dialogue that he sang. And I think what we see in the performance is really that singing that is coming through. A melody which might be actually very dark, but it also has its beauties. Did, did he take Punjabi lessons? Yotuma, you took some Punjabi lessons, right? <laughs> Tell uh, may, may, yes, uh, maybe Tilotma and the, you know, Rasika and Tiska will tell you a little about uh, the Punjabi lessons. But I don't think Rasika and Tiska needed Punjabi lessons, right? No. No, no of course not. No, no, no. You needed a little bit. <laughs> I, I had to, uh, of course, take Punjabi lessons. But uh, I think Irfan was also taking them, but not with us. Uh, <laughs> so we didn't see him do the work with our own eyes. Uh, uh, but uh, I remember in one of the rehearsals, I was a bit late because I was coming from a class, and it was Punjabi think, class. No, no it was class. I think a Kalari <laughs> Pite class. <laughs> okay. Because uh, Anu put me to into university, right, for this film because I had Kalari, uh, swimming, Punjabi, driving, four classes. So by the time I was done with four classes, I came for rehearsal, and when Irfan heard. Uh, you know, I thought he'd compliment that you're working so hard, such a hardworking actor. But he just looked at me and said, but you didn't learn anything in life or what? Like you left it all for this one film. <laughs> how do you not know how to drive? Like, what are you learning Punjabi for so long? Like what is going on? Six months, seven months, like, you know? So I don't know, he must yeah, have learned it very fast. Huh? Bachpan mein kya kar rahi thi toh? Correct. So truck driver is kaun seekta hai? You know? <laughs> Irfan. <laughs> But tell me about Punjabi. You also learned in uh, Rasika, you both are Punjabi. I mean, you were born Punjabi, so, but... Yeah, but that, that's uh, sometimes a disqualification because the way in which you... Uh, this was supposed to be uh, spoken in 1947 and thereabouts, so the lehja had to be absolutely correct. However, on the uh, on the topic of Irfan, I mean, at least Khan to 
you know they they used to listening to punjabi in the family so there's this thing about irfan so in the vanity van uh, we we were all being uh, getting we had our vans but we had this one makeup van where we were all getting sort of uh, our hair and everything and they would put on irfan's uh, dari and mooch and everything and uh, my belief is that he for the first time uh, didn't take the pressure because i worked with him over many years he didn't take the pressure of dialogue he just at one point manjpreet was i think uh, manji was our <laughs> dialogue uh, coach he would tell him manjpreet would get completely stressed out there was big chunks of dialogue so manji would say ke sir kar le line kar le line kar le ki kya kya tu piche pad raha tha aaja chal let's have a drink and he would every day drink with manjpreet and not learn his dialogue and then i discovered what he was doing anup you're going to kill me later but i'm just going to say it. he he hid his dialogue behind the mooch he made the mooch become a little longer <laughs> and he mumbled along uh, and he said ha theek hai ab dekh lenge na jo bhi hai matlab so he didn't actually let the performance be uh, uh, hindered with dialogue uh, so it is in that sense uh, freer than that and i called him out on it i said kya kuch bhi bol dete ho matlab mooch ke piche se i am standing there i can hear you it's not sounding punjabi and he'd be like aisi hoti hai <laughs> so <laughs> and uh, so that was my um i had a sort of a, a different uh, relationship with him because uh, shutpa and irfan actually were my producers uh, for uh, something that shuts wrote and uh, uh, one was ek sham ki mulakat which I, uh, was the show and then there was uh, shutpa wrote something called hum saath saath hain kya and uh, there was something uh, uh, anyway we'll talk about that in a bit but first back to the punjabi and the dialogue rasika did you have a challenge the punjabi um actually it was a challenge that i was really looking forward to in fact uh, uh, that year in my uh, list of new year resolutions we started shooting in january in 2011 right or 12 yeah, 12 uh, yeah and that that year in my list of new year resolutions was learn punjabi i was very conscious of the fact that i uh, am sikh and i don't really know how to speak punjabi well and i didn't really know how to do that because i had to go and learn punjabi so i said maybe i should join a bhangra troupe you know and <laughs> travel with them and learn how to dance and sath mein punjabi bhi seekh lungi but thankfully anup came along with his film and i didn't have to torture any bhangra troupe with my presence um so i it was really one of those things i really wanted to do with the film and uh, i had shared that with irfan at several times and in fact bahut baad jab film release ho gayi thi irfan met my mother once and he told my mother that isne ye film sirf punjabi seekhne ke liye ki hai but dilot i'm really curious i don't want to keep uh, going on about punjabi but one last question but when when this is not your language first language and you lived in delhi for a long time you you, you uh, used to hearing it um to express your emotions um you know is it is it more of a challenge i lived in delhi for a long time but i uh really uh don't remember the the sound of the punjabi that i learned for kissa it's quite was quite different uh and thank god that i didn't think i knew punjabi because then if you think you know something then it's harder to learn it you know so because it was kind of a blank slate and the teacher was good you know you kind of soaked it in uh but i was so tensed and thankfully rasika is such a good partner in crime that uh i don't know if she i think she was equally tensed if i may say <laughs> so we would do our dialogues every day like you know how kids do their tables in the morning <laughs> so i we would whenever uh, manjpreet was free on set before you know so i mean i think so that once you are on set you're not thinking about uh the lines but irfan would like really like bother me you know i mean that he's not doing his lines and i'm always doing my lines you know <laughs> and that i do hope to get to a place where i'm free i'm really free uh free of uh, the the you know the baggage of lines uh yeah on the subject of tension there's a small anecdote you have to hear this should you don't know this story uh you you remember this that night rasika's before the first day of her uh, shoot 
नहीं नहीं वो सो देर वॉज दिस वन टाइम अनूफ इज ऑलरेडी लाफिंग बिकॉज ही रिमेंबर्स दैट वन क्रेजी नाइट सो वी वॉज सपोज टू शूट इन दिस दिस Rasika's character has just gotten married and come to our house, and we're going to take her to the jewelry shop to buy jewelry. And so there's this little uh, purana gali and one purana dukan in one place. And we had Florian, who was our first AD, and he was German and wanted, uh, or or from some place close to Germany, wanted perfection and wanted everything just so. And uh, so he kept saying, "Lock, lock, lock set, lock set, lock set." And what lock set in Punjab are you going to do? One guy went in a, a lime green uh, fake Nike T-shirt on, did a wheelie right in the middle of the frame, and you know all of that nonsense was happening. What what lock set? So, हो uh, गया and Irfan, you know, I don't know. It was one of those days when. um he kept uh, and the arm of the jib was in the uh, shop so it had to turn and it was another complex move because it was a very very tiny shop so so he had to turn a certain way and say l l a or whatever the line was at that time k l l n so he he turned he turned this way he turned that way he turned that way and then it just was not working he kept turning in the wrong direction and finally he just and he just gave up and then uh, you know we figured it out ho gaya scene then raat ko there was a uh, baithak which was every night we had to like sit and get together and that's a noop for you that you know he gets everyone together and so whose room we decide to use is uh, rasika and tilotama's room and rasika is dying absolutely of death she's dying <laughs> she's dying of death because usko agle din perform karna hai and usne apni line to the t rat ke rakhi hui hai and she wants to do it now and she wants everyone to get the hell out of the room and sleep so that she can be fresh for the first day she's been there for 10 10 12 14 wow. days and irfan has got nicely drunk and he's laughing he's laughing maine kya kar diya aaj idhar turn ho gaya udhar turn ho gaya kya kar diya kaise perform kar diya it and he, i have ne- in all the years that i've known him his face had turned he was laughing till tears were running down his face there's rasika who's dying in one corner there's tilly who's trying to navigate this space there's anoop who's enjoying this priceless moment and there is irfan who's drunk and trying to deal with this whole situation that had happened in the morning and this whole different set of energies that were bouncing off the room i will never ever forget his face had turned red shoots That's just the funniest moment, Rasika. Contribute. Did uh, Rasika? Did you get to sleep eventually? <laughs> I, I, I didn't get it. But I the... think it was really priceless to watch Irfan laugh and <laughs> and giggle and be teary in that. It was very funny. So I think I would I would rather have had that than the sleep. <laughs> I know uh, we have talked. You heard The, but he's from so Africa, think, so I don't no, know how much. No, no. But what I'm saying is, he sing, he sings Punjabi. So when she said that this is not the Punjabi we heard in Delhi, that's so true because Anup, when he speaks Punjabi, sounds like some song. So I think Irfan kind of copied Anup. <laughs> but Anup, you also grew up in Africa, right? East Africa. I did. Yeah, I did. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know, but I, if you don't mind, uh, perhaps I should just say, you know, I think um, what Tiska has to say about Irfan not uh, taking on his lines is, I think, very, very true. But about working hard, Irfan had his own secret ways of doing it, you know, and he would do many things quite privately. So even from me, sometimes even I didn't know what he was up to, and it was only by chance that I saw him one day. We were shooting uh, in the Punjab, and I went out of this uh, set of the house that we had made, um, and there, there was a grove of trees uh, not very far away, and I saw him moving around the trees. So I went towards him, and I heard him actually singing. I thought he was singing. But I didn't want to disturb him, so I went a little around, so he would see me coming. And as I approached closer, I saw that he was singing the dialogues to the trees. You know, that was his way of preparing, you know. 
he wouldn't sit down on a chair and, you know, read the dialogue or whatever. That was his way of doing it. He would go for a walk, and while he's walking, he's muttering or singing or humming the, the dialogues under his breath. Uh, and here he was amongst the trees, singing the dialogues very happily to, to the tree. Yeah, I, it, obviously he worked hard because a, a role like this, you can't just wing it. I mean, it, this is like, mm -hmm. there's so much of emotional depth and, and tragedy that he carries and all of them carry, so I'm, I'm sure. But I guess you guys were, wanted like regular preparation kind of a thing. No, I just, uh, it's very nice to actually, it's very, um, you know, aspirational and also less anxiety inducing, uh, which is my only goal in life is to reduce anxiety and live... Uh, you know, comfortably in a relaxed sort of way where the shoulders are relaxed, you know, and the body is a bit um, nimble and not tensed with worry. And I, I really, uh, many things about Irfan are wonderful and annoying and, and charming, but I, I really like the way uh, uh, he's so limber, you know, and it's like water, it's just... Um, very nice to a watch it. Very nice to witness it on screen, off screen, and it's very aspirational to be. I mean, kya karoge? Jo hai problem, to wo hai. Ab kya karenge uska? Like either I can be the this hard, you know, unyielding self that takes every uh, you know insult and every defeat as so harshly and tears and you know drama. Or you can just like <laughs> let it bounce off and only sing to a very deserving audience like trees, <laughs> you know. Uh, so for, I think it's, and it's very, I think the moment I started trying certain things uh, that I watched Irfan do, he never prescribed it because he's not prescriptive, thank God. He, uh, you know, you do those things and you feel different. It's immediate. You talk to a tree, you will feel different. You talk to a bird, you will feel different. There's just no way, and it's inf it's just infinite. Uh, you know the wisdom of and the largeness of nature, and and seeing him commune was is something like I'm a copycat. So you know it's some it's something that really you know, uh, and it it comes through then in your life, in your obviously come in your work. It's it, it's his body, you know. Uh, there is that ease. I just remember something uh, briefly. I mean, it's not related to this film, but one of my favorite moments in recent years in Hindi cinema is the conversations that you, the improvised conversation you and Irfan had in Hindi medium. I mean, it's absolutely hilarious. I guess there was a comfort level of you had already uh, acted before also. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen them both in Hindi medium. Um, Anup, I'm actually very curious. We talked about uh, casting Irfan. Um, talk to us about casting these three wonderful actresses who are with us today. Um, and also... How did you decide, I mean, this thought has always come to me, that, you know, the role that, this, uh, the, 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 that, that uh, Rasika plays and the, the, and the one that Tilotuma plays, they could have been switched possibly, or maybe not? I, I think they really came to me as, uh, as gifts, you know. They came out of the blue, uh, both of them. Um, with Rasika, I was very lucky because I had Pushpendra Singh, you know, who is now a wonderful, wonderful filmmaker. Um, but at that time, he was assisting me. And he's the one who spoke to me first about uh, Rasika. And uh, she had done a diploma film at FTII. And he showed me the film. And I was completely struck with wonder. You know, I thought there was a kind of quality of grace and dignity, uh, a stillness, uh, which I had uh, rarely seen. It was an immense uh, performance, and I, I do hope that more people will see that particular film. Um, but I wanted so someone who could do the opposite in my film, you know, who, who could carry a kind of lilt, who could have a rhythm, who could uh, dance, and who could be really joyous. And in that uh, diploma, there was nothing of that. You know, there was a stillness. There was a, 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 a resolute holding back. However, when I met uh, Rasika, 
And she has this amazing quality of uh, laughing without stopping. You know, <laughs> once she starts laughing, she will not stop. And there I was sitting in front of her, expecting, you know, this kind of dignified demeanor. And here she is, you know, giggling away like a little girl. And it was immediately obvious to me that, you know, I had my Neely. And uh, as I said, it was just pure luck that Pushpendra brought that uh, DVD to me. The Lothma, up to this date, I am not sure what she did. You know, I think she actually tricked me. If I tricked uh, Irfan, if he says no, <laughs> the Lothma, she tricked me, you know. We were having auditions, and uh, she came to the door of the audition. She opened the door, and I saw her, and I was immediately struck by her face. She opened the door, and she closed it. She disappeared. You, know. you hadn't seen Monsoon Wedding, I'm sorry? No? No, I hadn't. Okay. I, in fact, I didn't know anything about her. She came out of the blue, you know. Uh, I, I saw her name, but I didn't know who she was. So she came to the door, she opened it, she closed it, she disappeared. And then after a while, the door opened again. She came in and she did it brilliantly. You know what a great actress she is. She somehow managed to trip. <laughs> right at the doorway, she managed to trip. She rolled like a kind of uh, martial arts artist. And like a genie, she came and stood in front of me. <laughs> you know? And uh, I said, wow, this is, you know, this but is my country. The, yeah, no wonder is... Anoop makes these fables, you know. Yeah. <laughs> there she is. She's my convert, you know. And I have tried to ask Tilly again and again, was it an accident that she tripped? Or did she do it deliberately? But whatever the answer is, I am very glad it happened. <laughs> so that was my, you know, introduction to Tilutma Shom and the character in the film. Um, Rasika um, um, uh, Tiska, of course, is, you know, something totally different. I met uh, Tiska in a, in, a, in a hotel, I think, you know, and we were sitting together. Tiska will tell you a little more about that meeting. But uh, one of the things about Tiska that immediately uh, hit me was her beauty, of course. You know, she's such a beautiful woman. And I thought, maybe she's too beautiful for my film. Wow. <laughs> and in my head, I saw her and I decided I can't cast her. You know, she's just too beautiful for, for this film of mine. And then, as we started to talk, the one thing that I kept noticing about her was the, the kind of way she moves her neck, the way her face uh, moves, you know, it is very slow. It is just a tiny little movement when she's speaking, <laughs> you know, and then she'll turn away and again, a very tiny movement she'll make when she's speaking to you. And I was completely engrossed just watching that face move in space. And I thought, wow, if there is any cinema, then it, it's right here in front of me. You know, that here she has a rhythm and a sense of time. And I'm not even looking at her beauty or the kind of person she is. I'm just looking at this movement that is happening in space. And are, it is because Are you aware of, of that, that with your quality? That... <laughs> and really, that was it. And I thought, if she, if she can do this in a five-star hotel, you know, <laughs> then on a wide screen, you know, she must be magic. And of course she is. And I'm very, very glad that uh, we all found each other. Okay, before I open up to the audience, I think I want uh, Rasika and Tiska and, and Trotuma, one memory of working with Irfan. I mean, you guys have already shared so many, but who wants to start? Could be funny, could be uh, whatever. <laughs> Any particular scene that, I mean, you already mentioned some scenes, but. So, 
<clears throat> the the first uh, thing that I did with Irfan was like what, 20, 30 years ago? Yeah, 30, 30 years ago. Uh, was this a piece of work called Ek Sham Ki Mulakat, which Thigman Shu was directing. And Irfan was a huge, huge star on TV. And I, uh, my first film had flopped and I didn't have any work. And I was doing theater. And this show found me at Prithvi. And he said, Tere saath main pakka kaam karunga. So I asked him, Ke ye dhamki hai ya? You, uh, <laughs> like, kya, kya bol uh, so anyway, the, we, uh, so I met him on set. And uh, he sized me up and uh, then he said, I don't see you, I don't do much work. So I said, I don't get it, I don't do it. So he said, no, you'll get it, you'll do it. And he sort of uh, goaded me into uh, uh, staying an actor. I was on the brink of leaving because I was not uh, uh, very happy with uh, putting myself out every single day uh, for auditions, for this thing. And you know, it's, introverts have a harder time of it. Um, and it, the rejections were pretty, pretty hard. And I didn't really understand what was expected of me. But then working with Ishu and Irfan uh, was was a sort of a, I really truly think of that as my, my uh, first work. Uh, because I trained before that. And before my first film, I hadn't trained. What I remember about Irfan, uh, this was uh, in, in uh, Goregaon, it's some place, the re re yeah. retreat or whatever that thing is called. It's called something, uh, one bungalow, which all of you will recognize from having seen it in 500 films. Um, so uh, there, there was, uh, Irfan was playing a shopkeeper in that. And uh, him and I are husband and wife. And we uh, get in to try and uh, see if we can rent this place. So him, the property dealer is showing us around the place. So he's, you know. And I saw him when when we weren't rolling, he would go and, you know, look at the switches of the house and he would look at the ceiling pankha kaise chal rahi hai wo. So when the uh, shot happened, so he would actually, for me, uh, watching an actor uh, look at the space around them and use the space around them in that very uh, tactile, very, you know, they, normal jo ek aam insaan karta hai. And to then... Uh, make the mundane memorable. That, I think, is what I uh, cherished. You know, I remember him running back and putting on the switch, putting off the switch, and I was thinking, what kya, kya kar rahe hai? And then I saw him do that. And um, there was still a little formality and a little distance. And then I used to smoke, but uh, I used to smoke secretly because heroines were not supposed to be smoking at that time. It was not kosher at all. So I was sitting in one of those large chairs and turned it away to the wall, and I was SSA smoking. And Irfan came and he looked at me saying, Hey, you're your own, man. This is your own friend, man. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. And after that, the ice broke, and then I came to your house opposite in Orbit, yeah. and he would send me DVDs on a regular basis, Once Upon a Time in America, uh, Bullets Over Broadway, whatever new was coming. He's saying, Koop manduk mat ban, baut badi dunia hai, baut sara kaam ho raha hai dunia mein. Yahaan se mat ghabra tu, tu kaam kar, tu kaam kar. Nahi karna tere ko, tere ko farm house se shadi karni hai, ja tu shadi kar le farm house se. Tu farm house se shadi kar le dilli mein, tere se hoga to hai nahi. So he understood that, uh, you know, if he told me, encouraged me warmly, to I'm, you know, one deep person, I'll say, but so when he goaded me, he went round the wicket. So his understanding of human nature is so, so, so strong. He understood kisko kaise chabi karna hai. So he was very, very good with that. So anyway, yeah. we're showing this star bestseller for yours in the study. It's going on in loop. Your, uh, <laughs> yeah, in the study. I keep don't think many people. Um, do you think it's like a memory from Kissa? Uh, uh, it, it could be anywhere else also, but that's okay. You worked with him after uh, that also. I remember there was a, the, the scene in Kissa where uh, Umber and uh, cover, uh, he swallows, Umber swallows cover. And, uh, and we had many questions about that scene. And, 
and uh, Asika and I would very freely talk about our questions and, you know, with this car and then. Then we would ask bravely, ask Anoop our questions, and Anoop would give poetic answers like how I fell and all, and entered the room and all. I don't have any recollection, but he would give very beautiful poetic, which would make you at that moment feel like sab samaj gaye, sab samaj gaye, sab sab saaf hai. And then you come into your room and think, but karenge kya? Samaj to gaye, karenge kya? Ye matlab scene aisa thoda hai. Pachi, kya bolte hai? Pechila. Ha, pechida. Pechida. So, we had dinner with us, and we were free, 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 and I thought that we would ask you a little bit, what are you doing in the scene, what are you thinking? We have kept it, you can tell us. We know that we have told us what to do, but what are you thinking? So, he saw through the craft that we were staged, like, you know, casually, and he said, what are you doing? He said, what happened? The scene wasn't coming. You're like, no, no, that's not. And then he was like, no, I don't understand myself. So he was like, and everything is not necessary. You know? And we were like, we're like, basically, that you guys are going to get out of here. Then I thought, we're going to get out of here. But he seriously didn't give out of here. But he seriously didn't give out of here. More like kept asking, but how do you, you know, what is the thing? What are you planning to f do? <clears throat> I'm not planning to do anything, and you don't have to understand everything. And uh, and then when we uh, uh, went on set and we did that scene, um, you know, he ha lifts me up, and uh, and the camera is behind me. And it's on his face, and then it, and then I have to go down and hide at his feet, so that it looks like he has, you know, swallowed Swall me. And um, so we went with uh, our captain Nanu, and reet garam thi bilkul, or nange pair the ham khade hue the us reet pe. Nanu uthaya Irfan ne, or phir then I went down and I was hiding, and then like. Unka scene chal raha tha, bhi shot chal raha tha. And then I saw his feet, you know. And he has very, such beautiful feet. And uh, the, the nail bed, like each nail is like a petal. It's like, like Saraswati's feet, you know. Wow. They're very beautiful. It's really like, because in our house, Saraswati Puja was a very fun thing. It was not a puja as much as uh, like great music and food that day. And no books, uh, you know, our books were kept. and and. Saraswati's feet, Ma would make all over the house with the <clears throat> alpona, and <clears throat> I just, I was weeping out of frame. जब frame पे weep करना होता तो तो छोड़ो यहाँ out of frame. It is hot. The sand is hot. I forgot everything. I was just looking at it. I felt like, oh my God, this is Saraswati's uh, feet, and oh. I'm at, uh, you know, I'm watching his his beautiful feet. This is my this is my father, this is uh, my, you know, and, uh, and I'm here, and I'm here, and I admire, uh, and, and I see the beauty, and, uh, and everything of that scene, just, I can't still explain the scene, but I understood the scene. In my life, I understood the scene. I felt, I felt understood, you know, in that moment, and I understood Anoop, I understood his story, I understood everybody in the film in relationship to that moment, which was actually the most, uh, you know, obfuscating and confused and, you know, not so clear in my head. And that was the scene that, you know, so... so. That's lovely. Really lovely, really. Rasika, do you remember any moment? So many, it's hard to choose, but... There was this one uh, scene that we were shooting in which Neeli's trying to run away from the house and Amber stops her and tries to attack her. And um, it was a confusing scene for all of us. And as usual, the most, the toughest scenes, you have the least time and everything is going wrong on that day. And all of that was happening. Um, and finally, we we down to shooting the scene. And there's this moment where Neeli's sort of recoiling in fear and, uh, you know, and uh, she's crying. And for some reason, I chose to uh, take my dupatta and hold it to my chest and move back in that particular shot. And that shot was just on me. 
and uh, Irfan and Tilotma were offspring. And I mean, I was always acutely aware of every small thing that Irfan would do because uh, it was such a big thing for me to be cast in a film with him, you know. So uh, uh, I was always very eager to please him, <laughs> always very eager to watch everything that he was doing or how he was responding to something that I was doing. So, uh, and I mean, this had, it had been an, a, a number of days of shooting, but towards the end of the schedule. And by now, I, my peripheral vision was tuned to looking at what Irfan was doing, you know, or what he thought of what I was doing and all of that. And so that track was always there. And I saw that he looked very uncomfortable. And uh, I was like, I'm doing good, why are you doing I didn't really know what it was. And uh, um, uh, I remember then I saw that he uh, he looked a little disturbed. He didn't know what to do. And he walked somewhere towards Anu. And then uh, after a little while, he came back and he was fine. And then Anu came to me and gave me an instruction and whatever. And I realized later that um, that uh, the gesture of picking up my dupatta and moving backwards was something that Irfan felt was was not good for Neely to do at that point, given the way the character had uh, grown. And, and he didn't, in spite of the fact that anything that Irfan would have said to me, I would have totally received uh, at that point, given the situation. He respected me enough to not instruct me in a scene. And uh, he respected me enough that he went he respected the, the Anup enough that he went to Anup and said, this is what I feel. And uh, do you think this uh, this character should do this at this point? I really feel she shouldn't go out for her dupatta, you know? And I just, I was, I was amazed because um, uh, this is one thing that you learn in film school that you never go in, you never instruct a co-actor. And I was just so happy to see somebody <clears throat> Uh, implement that like that after having worked for so many years and having enough respect for me to not violate that, you know. And I really learned that day how to be a good co-actor. I mean, I knew it in theory, but that that was really my um, lesson on how to be a co good co-actor. And just, I mean, I and th throughout the film, I think it, there was just so much respect for an actor who hasn't done as much work as as he had done. And even as much work as Silotma and Tiska had done, you know, the respect that all of them gave me was something which was very, very special. I'll always remember that. That's lovely. We should open up to the audience. I oh, mean, I don't know how much... Before yeah, the... yeah, please, huh? Now, since she talked about respect to the actors, I have something to say because, of course, we are celebrating Irfan. It's also we are celebrating actors here. We are celebrating craftsmen. We are celebrating acting. So... Correct me if I'm wrong, but my one of my very favorite scene in Kissa is when these two girls uh, in the room first for the first time she's wearing woman clothes, and I just wanted to ask you, Anoop, that's what Irfan told me. I remember that they had improvised this scene, so I just wanted to know a little more about it. How much Anoop had instructed, and how much you had felt in that scene? What did you feel in that scene? Let me start on that um, yeah. uh, very, very briefly. Yeah. Uh, from the very beginning, there was a, this amazing uh, magic that was happening between uh, Rasika and Tilotma. I think they got along really well. And uh, when we came to that particular scene, I said to them, please go away, both of you. you know. And uh, this is what the situation is. And uh, work it out. <laughs> You know, after a while, I think they had a day. The next day they came back and they performed that scene. And I think they performed it for about half an hour. It was like a theatrical performance. It was like a dance. It was like, you know, something which was very intimate and strong. And while watching them, <clears throat> I felt, uh, you know, if only I could shoot this. If only for half an hour I could just have this in my film. It was one of the most beautiful things that I have seen. And it was done by these two women working together. Uh, 
You know, the, the word for that my body remembers from that scene, Shutapa, is uh, how tender is tender, you know? Uh, it's just of uh, uh, yeah. the film, the world Anup had created, and Rasika, uh, like Irfan's feet were very beautiful, and Rasika's hands. You know, if <laughs> if you put Rasika's hands in next to Irfan's feet, I felt that was my marriage. I was stuck wow. between my <laughs> dad and my, you know, the love of my life, <laughs> and with beautiful hands and <laughs> and a be beautiful feet, and uh, so. I, I remember her her touching and, uh, you know, it. of course I'm a woman, you know, in this situation, an actor who's uh, in the situation, but when she touched uh, me even gently uh, and everything, Anup's process, uh, uh, you know, his friendship with all of us, mm. um, everything, like I think... Uh, our, all our harsh edges and sharp it things became are, poetry. it became smooth, smooth. and it like for me it is mm. like uh, I, like I remember mm. uh, you know how I felt it was just soft gentle yeah. thank you so much yeah. for sharing <laughs> <laughs> thank you Anoop Rasika Shutopa Tilotoma this is just wonderful and thank you G5A um, this was really really very rewarding um so, thank you all. Yeah. Thank you, Asim. Thank you, uh, Tishka, Tilotma, Rasika, Shutpa.